the effects of conflict and violence on the economic stability in a country are not situations that can be changed in a couple of years. This is particularly true when the country is bogged down in decades of conflicts. Central African Republic is a country of 623,000 square kilometers with only 6 million people and 25% of this population lives in the capital, Bangui. The country has only one access to the sea by the road and the country has six countries around which are also facing fragility. We have a lack of connectivity infrastructure, energy infrastructure, sanitary infrastructure, on the mining perspective, we have only artisanal exploitation across the country, which feeds the conflicts and violence. 50% of our population is facing hunger. The population is living this fragility situation every day. So we have to bring them on the table so that we renew our social contract with them. We should have quick wins that we can show to the population that through the emergency plan, we can do what is necessary in order to secure livelihood. And in parallel, we have to develop the other tools, which are the medium and the long term. If we want to, to add value into the economic system and to encourage job creation, we have to prepare the space for small and medium enterprises to grow. So they have to access to the financial markets. For example, we are actually establishing a national guarantee fund with all our partners in development in order to strengthen their capacity in Central African Republic. I think that the best way to change the economy trajectory is to start by the leadership. We should have strong leadership at a very high level. It's also the matter of the development partner who must sometimes think out of the box to reinvent the way that they can bring their assistance, their funding into the country. Each of us should play the role under the leadership to bring efficient solutions to the population.